Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can make our AI a little bit smarter. As of right now if you shoot, that, shoot at them right from behind you can see they do absolutely nothing. They don't chase you, they don't react to the bullet damage or anything like that and that's pretty much what I want to set up in today's video. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can make them follow you, pretty much just turn around and chase you if you shoot them in the back and we're also going to be showing you how you can spawn an impact effect when you hit this enemy with your bullets. So, starting off, what we're going to do is go ahead and dive into our blueprint for the simple AI, as that's where everything is handled in terms of bullet collision. So open this up and we're going to have a look through the code and we're going to see what we can do. So if we go over to the top here, we've got our sequence for begin overlap for our projectile. At the end here, we've got this little bit where it runs a check. And that's to check to see if the player is, you know, the player's health has gone below zero, and if it has, it's gonna kill them. If not, it's gonna do absolutely nothing. It's just gonna stand there in place and do nothing at all. So what I wanna do is pretty much start off by telling it to spawn an emitter at the location and this emitter is essentially going to be an impact effect and what we're going to do after this impact effect is tell it to turn around and run towards the player and chase him down. So for the emitter template I'm going to use a lovely little asset that I found inside of the infinity blade effects pack. So go into your effects and just type in impact into the search bar at the top here and the one that one that we are after when these load up you are going to see in a second is somewhere here so just scroll down and there should be a lovely little one here so it's just a matter of finding it i believe it is this one here p underscore impact shield fire if we go into our content browser sorry our blueprint drop this in here by selecting it and chucking it in, it's going to spawn this. For the location, we need to get the location of the projectile, um, so get actor location. And then with this, what we're going to do is just hook this up into here. So just put the location of that projectile in there. So hit compile, close this up, and hopefully now, when we shoot at this and we hit it, you can see we get this impact effect coming from the AI, which is quite nice. Now, it doesn't quite look like blood in the way that I'd like it to. However, if you was to have this as a blood impact effect, you know, set up with a proper um, particle system, it would look quite nice. But for now, that's the first part of today's video. So moving on, the next thing that I'm going to do now then is go back into that simple AI blueprint and I'm going to tell it to run towards the player once it receives this input, once it's been shot, because realistically, if you've been shot by a bullet, you're going to know where it's come from based on the direction, you know, you'd feel it in your back, your head, whatever. So I'm going to drag out from here and I'm going to use the AI move to node. And this AI move to node is going to allow me to move the pawn, the pawn being itself. So drag out that and t get a reference to self for the pawn to a destination or a target actor. The target actor is going to be the player. We could use the destination and get the destination from the, you know, the player character, but that's just sort of a long way of doing it. Instead, I can just hook up the target actor, so the player blueprint, into this to make it chase me. And the way I'm going to get that reference is from spawn emitter, cast to third person character, and then as the third person character, drag this into your target actor, and with the object, just set this to get to player character, so it makes a nice clean reference to this. If I compile it now, what this is going to do is it's going to compile it, press play, and if we jump in, we go behind this so the AI cannot see us, and then shoot it in the back, you can see it's going to turn around, and it's going to keep chasing it and chasing us until it loses sight of us, which is great. And you can see now then that our AI is really starting to come to life. It's getting, you know, just that much smarter, and it's really bringing things to life. So let me show you again one more time. Shoot him, and he's going to run towards me, and he's just going to chase me down. Now, there is still 
a whole bunch of other stuff that we need to do for a uh, for our AI. For example, we want him to roam if he cannot see us. We don't want him just standing in place waiting to be shot or to see us as he is now. And we also want to make him to shoot at the player, have a rifle and all of that good stuff. But that is something for another video. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything for today. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.